Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the third installment. I made a little uh, error in that second one, showing you how to go across the page. On this one, I have the broken parts cut out on both sides, and that's what you need. But if you did it before and you just copied them over, then you're going to have two cut lines, two hair lines right here together. So the way to solve that is to cut the center out of that one. Then control D and just move them over. And now you have open lines on this end. So let's do one more. Let's control D one more time, get them across the page. Now, so each one of these is broken lines. That one's got a, a a filled in line there so this one's a solid and then these are broken so let's just put that one back so then what you do to create this line here you could connect those lines but the easiest way I found to do it is just control D these very first ones and the very first ones the ends are whole so now you have 24 name tags and let's see, 6, 12, 18, 21 name tags. And they're all broken with lines between them. So they're, it won't cut it twice. Because that one's full, but that one's cut. And this one's, so this way it works. So just think about you need to break the lines on both ends when you're duplicating them over. And that's where the nudge distance factor to me helps a lot because you could just keep going. So in the previous video, I just duplicated it over and then I had, and it wouldn't have really mattered with this little bit of line, but you're having to cut it twice and it might uh, leave a little bit more burn residue. So there's a, that's a completed deal. That should work good for anybody making name tags. And what I would suggest is just take your name tag or your shape that you normally do and then start doing what I just did in the previous two videos and save a little time not 100 percent but it'll save you a little wood for sure anyway thank hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching